I think it's time we go ahead and upgrade the exhaust on the Carbon Fox. Not that it doesn't sound good, I just think it's time to upgrade to something that's going to be a little deeper, maybe a little louder. And here we go. Three inch flow tubes. So this is what goes in front of your muffler, right behind your H, X pipe, mid pipe, whatever you want to call it. So what we have here are the full bore Jones mufflers. These are three inch. Offset, offset. This is what you need on a Fox body, by the way, guys. You need offset, offset. So, I got these from LMR. Uh, pretty cheap, guys. I'll throw them up on the screen. I think they're like 40 bucks or something. And listen to me. They're good mufflers. I'm not going to sit here and tell you they're the best. They're top notch, top quality. But I've never had a problem with them, and they sound freaking awesome. And obviously, over here, you have your three inch flow tubes. This makes welding and hooking everything up super easy. So check that out. That's a nice fit right there. Let me take you underneath the Retro Fox because this thing has Jones mufflers on it as well, but they're just two and a half. As you can see last time we went two and a half inch flow tubes into two and a half inch Jones mufflers with two and a half inch tailpipes. Now this is going to be a little different on the Carbon Fox. So the mufflers and the flow tubes are going to be three inch. Everything else would be two and a half, but it should sound really good. So as you can see right here, we had to kind of taper this down. So what I did was I took the old H pipe that I'm probably never going to use and I cut the end off of it and then cut the end off of the flow tube, shoved it up in there, filled it up with weld and it's fine. It'll work. We got a three inch flow tube here going into our Jones mufflers and all of this crap back here, which should seal up just fine and should sound good. So. Let's go over this again though. Um, this is two and a half inch. So I, m I made a mistake. And we grab one of those flanges over there in front of the thing. Oh yeah, we got Hunter here by the way. I know what you're thinking. You're like brutal. That looks like <laughs> man. And you know what? You're right. You're right. But <laughs> it. So as you can see, this flange is way bigger than the other flange. It won't even line up. I was just talking to Hunter about this. Like, that's what's gonna make this car sound unique, in my opinion, is all of this Frankenstein-ass exhaust. Uh, think about it. The Retro Fox is Frankenstein as hell, but it's one of the better sounding cars that I've got. And I think this with the three inch flow tubes and with the Jones mufflers, cause they're gonna make a difference just by themselves. I mean, this thing should sound pretty good. And again, hell it might not, it may not sound any different, but you know, I don't mind doing stuff like this. It's, it's cool to me, just hack some stuff up and get after it. You know, I wouldn't do this if we had some new exhaust and something didn't fit right. I would wait and order the parts. But for this, it's all pretty cheap stuff. I mean, I think I got like, what, $40 uh, each in the mufflers. And I think the flow tubes were like 50 bucks or something, so. What we're gonna do on the inlet side is leave this basically just like it is. And on the outlet side, we're gonna come over here and cut the back of it, and that's where the tailpipe should just pop right into place. It's gonna be dark under here, and that, that camera doesn't like to focus a lot, guys, when it's dark, but uh, just bear with us here, and I'll get some light in here in just a second. Don't be down doing no stupid everybody, shit. Everybody in the video, though, knows, knows you got a pretty noggin, though. Oh yeah? Yeah man, got a nice little zoom in on it. Okay, okay, <laughs> I see how it is. It's always so bougie man. Buying new stuff every time I come over here. <laughs> <laughs> new man. gadgets, new toys. We, we gotta have new stuff man. Gotta have new stuff. Don't you like working with new stuff? I mean yeah. All right then, yeah. put you bitching. Okay, yeah. Is that, is that that fit much better? Yeah, oh, yeah. So show them back here what we're gonna do. We're just gonna cut the back side of the muffler in the light. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying just get to get... right right over my shoulder. We're gonna basically mark this and just cut the end of the muffler off and then we'll just make it work like that. So 
that's what we're going to do guys we'll go ahead it's not going to sit like this but we'll go ahead and uh, fix all this stuff up and i'll probably get back to you guys once this thing we bust it all off I and mean, there's not much else to see so, catch you guys then i'm going to go ahead and start the car we're going to let it warm up and then we'll do some revs after that i'll include some previous footage of the old setup and you guys tell me what you think second according to the video after i watched it it seems like the flow masters sound better like they're louder i was using two different cameras to record my sony camera is what i used initially for the flow master video and then it died so i had to use my cell phone so do they actually sound that different no not really if i'm being completely honest there's not a lot of difference the Jones mufflers are a little more open and raspy, I guess you could say, simply because it's three inch exhaust and they're a very similar muffler. I actually really like the way that the Jones mufflers sound because as you get on this car and you're driving down the road, it doesn't drone as bad. So that's a really good thing. And it gets, there again, I, I keep using the term raspy, but I think that's the best way to explain it. Almost kind of how like a spin tech does whenever you really get on this thing and it just gets real airish. So with all that being said, if you guys want to save yourself some money, maybe pick up a set of these. They're really good mufflers. I think you guys will like them. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this one up. All right, so you guys tell me what you think about it. Here's my thoughts on these mufflers. They sound really freaking good. And they sound a little different than a Flowmaster, like different enough to where it's, it's not going to come across to me at least as a Flowmaster sound, but it is similar. It just adds a little bit of uniqueness in my opinion. What I'll tell you that I've noticed in between the Flowmaster setup and the Jones mufflers. The Jones muffler sounds a little more airish, more open, more tinny, if you will, versus a Flowmaster. And here's the old setup. I mean, you guys can see these were some little tiny pipes, right? And what I've done is just cut the back side of the mufflers out a little bit to make it work with two and a half. So I like it. If you guys want to save some money and you want a good sounding muffler that seems to flow really good. Uh, check out the Jones full bore. I've not tried the other ones, but I'm sure they're probably good as well. So there you go, guys. There's the Carbon Fox. Um, not much else to say about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching. Yeah.